So we left off with Nebody being like, I'm Nebody. What is your name, little boy? And do you know this, Kachi? Hi. Mae. Right, Mae. Can you read this sentence for me? Majutsushi no namae wa neburi da. Hi. The magician's name is Neburi. Um, do you happen to know this kanji? This kanji is to teach. Yes. Oshieru. Oh, yep. yep. Oshieru. Nice. Um, what particle do you think should go in here? It's probably not the one you think it would be. How would you say the thief taught their name? Basically, they told someone their name. Robo wa namae o yep. oshieta. Yep, namae o oshieta. Perfect. Um, so this is a reference from last week. Do you know what Tara tells us? Furikaitara, Bakimichi ni haite kita jisan ni ikinari tekai te de kata o tsukumareta. Ikaitara. Ma, when this when when this occurred, the yes. following occurred. Yes, and basically the way how it's different than some of the other ones is that this tend to be talking about one specific occasion, and it doesn't need to be an instant action. Though right here it is an instant action, but I'm just saying it doesn't have to be necessarily instantaneous. But yeah, when I turn around, this happens. So you can kind of think about it this as a generic when. If you're not sure. What when to use? Tada is probably a good one to use because of that. Because nada is very specific to personal experiences. And to is very much like right when this happens, the next thing happens, like immediate. Um, I... So you could definitely in this specific context have to here because uh, the idea is that he grabs him right when he turns around. But this allows there to be some gap of time so that the Jisha didn't just like teleport behind him necessarily. Um, so Niao is normally, you're not going to see Niao really by itself that much, though it has a little bit of a negative connotation, but in itself isn't actually negative. Um, so a lot of times you'll see like an adjective put in front of here, like Hidoi or Koi. So Hidoi is horrible. So I said hidoi men yao, that basically means to ex experience something horrible, to have a horrible encounter, is what it means. Or if you use kawaii, that'd mean to have a scary encounter. Kawaii. Hi. Kawaii men yao. Um, could you read this sentence for me? Kawaii men yao ne miyatara nigero. Hi. What does this say? When encounter a, a a scary experience, run or re retreat. Exactly, retreat. Perfect. So something else you can say is say rokuna meni awa nai. So right here, rokuna is actually a positive connotation that is being used with me to mean a good time will not happen. So this means a good time will not happen. Um. So it's just, it's kind of funny because like koi men yao is a bad thing will happen and rokuna men yao means a good thing will not happen. So both of them are referring to bad things, even though this is a negative verb. And it's because of the adjective that's being used to describe the encounter. A good thing will not occur. Yes. Um. Do you recognize this kanji? Kiku. Perfect. Now let's go read our line from the book. Machutsu shi ni namae o oshie tara rokuna me ni awa nai toyoku kiku. Hi. So this is actually quotation to. Yoku. Yoku is well. He heard yes. it well. So this means um, well, but it can also mean often, depending on the context. So theoretically, it could be to hear something well, but I would guess in this context, it's probably often. 
I read it off to me. So he heard, what he heard was, Ma jutsu shi ni namai o shiete tara. When the magician asks for your name, Rokuna mania when I, uh, then you're not gonna encounter something good. Hey, so Space. the first part, yeah, correct. This one is good. Next part is a little bit different. So, oshiru means to teach, and the direction you're teaching in is has the ni. So, this is to teach the magician namae. So, teach a magician a name. And contextually, we'd assume it's my name or your name. So, if you teach a magician your name, then something good will not happen to you. <laughs> then it's not going to end well, basically. Hi. And that's what he normally Hi. hears. So, Do you Hi. often encounter in reading Japanese in general that they tend to have it like a negative? Like, um, they tend to have a negative of a negative in order to say something. Is that how it often occurred? I am not sure what you're referring to. The sentence only has it's one like, negative, but probably. I, I would I guess say what I'm trying double to... negatives in Japanese are still negative. Negatives. So like double negatives oh. in English, we go, it could be negative or not be negative. In Japanese, a double negative is still negative. It doesn't become positive. Um, but this sentence only has one negative, so I can't really. <laughs> Hi, right. okay. uh, Roku okay. is, is positive. So this means a good time. You do not. Hi. Um, and Oshiru is just a statement to teach. So if you teach your name, then you will not have a good time. Right. This is sort of similar to nothing good will come out of it. Yes, nothing good will come out of it. Um, do you know what tamaru means? Tamaru. Tamaru. Tamaru is to yeah. shut up, basically. To shut up, it's, okay. It's, it, it's used to be, it's basically mean to be quiet, but if you said someone, tamate, you're really saying, shut up. Um, so a lot of times you'll see it used that way. Um, damaru, damaru is an u verb, not a do verb. So R plus u is what this is. Damaru, to shut up. Um, damaru. can you read this sentence for me? Hi. Dorobo wa machitsu shi ni damatte iru. Hi. So I just decided to show you sometimes how ni could be used. You probably wouldn't see this specific question, but this means the thief is basically keeping quiet to the magician. So it means he won't talk to, to magician. So you will see um, ni with something damaru relatively often, meaning you'll not, you're shutting up toward that person. You're not talking to them, but normally you wouldn't have the subject in the sentence, but I just thought just letting you know, because I know you tend to be curious about those kind of things. Hi. Um, do you happen to recognize this kanji? This kanji to line up. Yes. Uh line up so it's a uh, top starts with a na 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 i'm sorry narabu. i don't know narabu narabu hai narabu narabu hai to line up perfect and do you remember what mama meant like sono mama susundeiku in that yeah. way Yes, basically in that pre uh, previous stated condition is not changing. So as long as that condition does not change. Hi. Do you know what the te form of narabu is? B. 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 My hint is that it's the same Na as good. Naranda. Hi, naranda. Perfect. Naranda. naranda. Nice. So it's the same as mu gu and bu yes mu gu and bu hi um can you read the sentence for me hi namae o damatta mama um to run close walking ara na 
歩いた。なら、なる。歩いた。歩いた。What does this sentence mean? 歩いた。It said, um, um, what, what, while continue, while shutting up, he ran. Uh, 歩くは、shutting, I'm sorry. He he walked while keeping quiet about、yes. his name. Exactly. Perfect. Nice. So let's go read our line from the book then. Damatta mama narande aruita. So contextually, he's lining up behind the magician who already started walking. He walking behind the magician while staying quiet. Yes. He lines up behind him.、Um, so we saw this kanji before, but this is our first time being told we have to know how it's read. Do you know how to read this? Kado. Hai, kado for corner. Nice.、Um, can you read? Do you remember what this word is? Shokudo. Hai, shokudo, which is cafeteria or kitchen. You know what kochi means? Kochi, this way. Yes, it's in the direction that I am standing in. You know, do you know what the te form of wakaru is? Wakaru? Wakate. Yes, wakate. And what does wakaru mean? Understand. Perfect. So I have two sentences here one with no and one with koto.、Um, Tell me which one you think is correct. Because one of these is kind of a weirder sentence because the meaning of koto is、um, generic and the meaning of no is specific. Hi. So, kochi wo miteru ga wakatte iru. Versus. Kochi wo miteru koto ga wakateru. I understand. I'm understanding. Mite iru to see.、Uh, the looking in this、saw. direction. Kochi wo miteru means looking in this direction. So most likely I'm not looking, looking in, in my direction. That's kind of impossible unless you can, you're like, can take out your eye. Uh, so, someone else is normally going to be doing this action. So, someone is looking at me basically. So, I understand why someone, someone is looking is at looking. me. Yeah, that someone is looking at me. So, should we use koto or no in this case? It should be specific because、yes. if it's koto, then it means the, the, the category of people looking at me. Hi. I understand. Exactly, which, which is a little of, bit odd. Doesn't make sense. I'm sure there could be a very specific <laughs> occasion you could say that, but in general, you would assume it would be no. Correct. Is this as if he trying to say, if he were to use koto, it's like to say, every single instance of someone looking、yes. at me, something is true or something is false. Like、exactly. you're making a comment about. Yeah, so you'd make a hypothetical, like, most likely, with koto. In that like,、case. for example, In the case of Gurren Lagan, <laughs> Simon is always dirty and, and have the weird look on him. So every instant of people looking at, at him, he felt like he was like a rat or something. <laughs> exactly. Like, not belonging. Then so, he could so, say that. Then he could probably say that, yes. Hi, perfect. Hi.、Um, can you read this? This was from a bit ago. It's a hard one.、Um, Mm, pointy, yes, sharp. Sharp. What could it be?、Oh, something. Sudoi? Sudoi? Well, sududoi. So you forgot the, the do part. Sududoi. 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 What does sududoi metuki mean? Sharp look. To yes, give sharp? someone、um, a bad look.、Hi. Exactly.、Um, our next word is mukeru, which ends with actually a do verb. This is、um, to、right. face towards something.、Um, you learn mukau later, and they're basically the same word. I'll talk about later how they're slightly different.、It's、basically, one has any object, the other one doesn't.、Um, but how do you read this? 
むけるはい、むける。Do you know what hole means? Hole is Sometimes it directions. Has yes, directions. Perfect. Okay. How would you say facing the direction of the cafeteria in Japanese? Uh, shokudo ho. No, shokudo no ho. Ni mukeru. Perfect. Nice. Our next word is ka. Uh, do you know this word actually? So check first. This word is um hair, facial hair, hair or hair. Ah, yes. So this right here does have hair in it, and this shows up in the kanji for face, well, head, and together this is face versus head. Face. So that's atama. I mean, this is cow versus atama. I'll write atama right here, and I'll write kami right here. So yeah, here. So, Does, uh, oh, so that is head. atama and kami together is face. Yep. Yeah, that might help remember word... cow. Oh, this is cow. So this is cow. So when you take atama cow. and you add kami to it, you get the cow. What's the word? What's the Japanese word for surface? Um, men. Men. Okay, so it's right two there. different idea. Our surface. This is specific to the human face. It's not just a surface. Cow. Yeah, th this is a human face. You're correct. So if I was talking about the face of like. A surface we'd use men like ba men for example is a computer face the computer screen the ba men hi uh, okay um so right here we have ni for shokodo no ho ni so in the direction of the cafeteria i want to turn my head into the direction of the cafeteria what particle would i use here we use all Correct. Kao o. Yep. So mukeru takes o and mukao doesn't allow for o. So I turn my head. Okay. Do you know what? I remember. Means? Yeah. We also read something a couple lesson back. Something about he turned his head as opposed to turning his whole torso. I wonder if this is the same word. I. Maybe. Oh, you're thinking about furi muku, oh, furi kaidu, uh, furi something kai, like that. Kaidu, yes, the, that is just turn your head. Not really that. Furu is to shake, so like um, right. kubi o furu is to shake your head, um, and kaidu is like in return. So it's kind of like to look behind. It's like to return your head backwards, I guess. The shake in a returning like way. <laughs> shake so, yeah. back. Yeah. The shake. So back. is this the same? But, yeah, different. This is turning one's head, right? This is. Um, this is to turn something so it faces. So you could use this to say furimuku. You would say like haigo ni kao o mukeru would mean to turn my head to the back. Um, but furimuku is a word on its own that means to turn backwards. This is only saying which direction you're moving your head about to or moving something to face. Um, so this could, so this is right here is most likely his whole body is also facing in this direction, but they're just specifying the head is facing this direction. Hi, he's turning towards the shokudo, whereas yes. furi kairu is specifically turning towards your back. Yes, exactly. Do you know what boshi yes. means? Boshi is a hat. Perfect. Or a helm. Hi. What is the te form of mukeru? Mukeru. Te form. This is R plus U. Actually, this is a ru verb. <laughs> oh, sorry. So drop the ru and mukete. Hi, mukete. Nice. Okay. So tuba. This is not spit, has different kanji, but it's pronounced the same. Uh, boshi no tuba. The tuba of a boshi is the rim. So this is the tuba on a baseball cap, this little rim thingy. Mm -hmm. And on a magician's cap, that'd be, you know, this area. That's the tuba, the kind of overhang thingy mababber. So, boshi no tuba. Tuba referring to the rim of the hat? Yeah. Is that this, right? Yes. 
So yeah, it's Got specifically it. the stuff that overhangs uh, stuff. So like if you read Pokemon a lot, uh, you'll see Tuba whenever Ash like grabs his Tuba and spins it to the back of his head because he likes to wear his baseball cap. After. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> cool word. I like it. Uh, do you know this kanji? Tuba. This is Shika. Hi, Shita. Nice. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Boshi no tsuba o tsukanda. Hi. What does this mean? Grab. To grab hold of the visor of the hat. Hi, man. You know the real word, visor. <laughs> I think so. I think. No, that that is the word. I I recognize it when you said it. I just know if I see the word visor, I'd be like, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. When it's I think of much. visor, I think of uh, those hat thingies that don't have a hat. It's just the visor itself. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, like the a tennis, tennis player. player. Yes. Uh, hi. So now you get to read our long sentence. Hi. Um. Or, or you know, like a, like a motorcycle hel helmet. The part that oh. you can lift up and down, it's also called a visor, I think. I think that's right, too. The one yeah. where it's... I wonder if that's yeah. the same in Japanese. I have no idea. It might be called suba, maybe. Um, but that was a tangent. I'm sorry. So... Um, Machutsu shi no jisan wa kado no shokudo no ho ni Kao o mukete itta ga boshi no tsuba no um this is a verb no oh. this is a noun she oh I skipped that uh, shita this is... kara yeah shita kara um oru oru doi you're right, got the rodo, but this time the first was wrong. Surudoi me tsuki de Tira tira to Kochi o Mitte iru no Kawa karu Hai, do no ga wakaru No, I'm sorry, ga wakaru Hai so right here, what's okay. nice in Japanese, a lot of times you'll see these commas, and that can really help you to help separate sentences. So we see a comma over here, so we kind of can assume that this is its own thing. And it happens that that is correct. So let's start with our first clause. Majutsushi no jisan wa kado no do shokudo no ho ni ka o mukete ita. Okay, so... Um, force the direction of the um of the dining hall at the corner. Um, I've turned my face. Who turns? I've their turned face? my face toward. Uh, okay, the magician, the Hi. Chisan. Turned the his... Chisan turned his face toward the direction of the diner at the corner perfect then we have and, ga or, which what kind of but, and is ga yes but however but his um, surudoi me tsukide, no... chida chida. we can ignore boshio for now let's start with this uh, okay tsurudoi metsukio meaning giving a sharp look yes he giving a sharp chira look chira chira meaning the sound Yes, this is a, a sound. Kind of look. So chira chira is basically the only way you can say to glance. Glance. So it means he's glancing at kochi. He glancing a sharp look at my directions. Hai. Mitte iru no ga wakaru. Hai. Mitte iru no ga. Okay, that's something new. No ga. So the act of the act of looking i understand that look yes i understand so, but, but specifically what that look means. what's confusing in a way the sentence has two subjects so it's saying i understand that the old man magician is looking 
at me. こっちを見てるのがわかる。So I understand that the old man is looking at me.、Um, and then it's specifically saying he's looking at me with sharp glances. So he's not just staring at me like, gee.、Uh, he's like, take a look, then looks away. Take a look, looks away. So he's just kind of glancing at them with his sharp eyes. And where are his sharp eyes located? From above his magician,、uh, from below, from below、right. the visor of his magical hat. Exactly. His, his... Hat's visor, which in this context is pretty much probably a wizard's hat.、Uh, I... But it theoretically, it doesn't specifically say that. But yeah, perfect. So. I understood that this old man, even though he had his face facing toward the diner in the corner, he was continuing to glance at me from underneath his hat, hat's visor,、um, with a sharp look in his eyes. And that's why Noah's here. We're talking about this specific occasion. Nice. And Kanji, check. What's this guy? Um, one moment, yes. Oh, she ate that up. Hi. And the next guy?、Uh, lining up. Nara, Narande. Hi. What does Narande mean? Narande means to line up. Yes, perfect. Do you happen to know this kanji? He. Yes, correct. He. Baya. You know what moeru means? Not that common of a word, so you probably don't. Moeru. To burn up. Yes. I like the word blaze for moeru, but yes, it is to burn up or to blaze. It's basically, it means the fire is doing fire stuff. So it doesn't necessarily mean to like totally burn up because that would insinuate something else that there's no more fire. Moeru is just the act of fire doing fire stuff. It is to fire. Mani, have you? Have you ever、yeah. seen the anime called Escaflone? I、Probably、don't、not. recognize the name. I watch so much anime, <laughs> but I don't recognize the name. Is it a Gundam? <laughs> it's like a Gundam, but it's like a, not a technical Gundam, but more、mm. of a medieval.、Uh, is that the one with、I、the、don't... witch that rides a gun? <laughs> no, 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 it's the no, one with the, with the gun. The Gundam actually turned into a, like a dragon, and, you, and the main <gasps> character rides on it.、Oh, and the main the, the、so、girl、it? came from Earth, and she got teleported to the moon. What? What? <laughs> oh, I, I say because,、huh. because this word, I learned this word from that anime.、Huh. The cat have... girl, there's a cat girl, and she keeps saying, The town got burned up, Vaughn. The main character's name was Vaughn.、Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I have no idea、so, what that is. I was like, hey, Gondom turns into dinosaur. I was like, I know that. I mean, Dragon. I was like, I watched that anime. And you're like, on the moon. That did not happen in the anime I was thinking about.、Uh, this, I really do like Hisone.、Uh, I think that's what it's called. It, but it's, it's set in the military、uh, where instead of having fighter jacks, the fighter jacks are actually <laughs> dragons. Oh. You get eaten by the dragon,、oh. and then you can like pilot it <laughs> by like playing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I've seen clips of it. I should go watch that now. Yeah, it's really now good. I、it. thought it was really funny. Moeru, burned up. Burn. Or blaze up. Hi. So, do is an actual do verb. Moeru. What particle do you think we should say to say the fire is blazing? The fire blazing? He got moeru. Hi, perfect. Ga. And how do you read this word? Moeru. Hi, moeru to blaze. Can you read this for me? Akaka, aka, aka to. He got moeru. Hi. Any guesses what the sound effect means? It's the, it's the sound that, that of burning flame. It, it's like the crackling sound of, of tweaks, right? That'd be a really good a camp, guess. A campfire. It actually kind of comes from akai or akarui. Akarui or akai. akai. So it's a mod of, it's, it's a onomatopoeia made from the aka part from either aka aka from akarui 
or Aka Aka from Akai. Uh, and right. depending on which one you want to pick it is, it has a slightly different meaning. Aka Aka would mean brightly red and Aka Aka, this one would insinuate brightly lit. So this actually is an automatic figure for, the, for how bright the flame is. I would assume it's just saying it's a super bright flame blazing rather than a red flame blazing. But it, it could be either of these. But yeah, so it's a sound effect made from a different word to uh, give sound a color, which is kind of fun. Aka aka to moeru. Hi. Interesting. Yado um, ya. This is an inn. Yado a place ya. that sells, it's a lot lodging area, a, a place of stopping at, like stopping like the stay the night at. The first kanji means to to stay overnight, right? Yes. Um. It's it has tomaru in it, which is the verb to stay overnight, but it's it's like it doesn't have it in actually. Uh, I think yado on its own might actually be like an in itself, like a place you can stay the night at. But yado ya is a place that sells <laughs> the thing. Oh, ya is a shop. Yes. Hi. Like a so home, you, yeah. Wait. Yeah. So Yado itself is an inn or a house or a lojet or a logging and stuff that someone could be in. But if you're going to like pay for the place, an inn like where you buy a plate a, a yado to stay in is a yado ya. <laughs> ah, it's an inn still. Hi. So it's in versus just yado, it's just referring to the place you're staying at itself versus the place your hi places yeah kind of weird this is the about. place where you buy lodging yes uh so ninaru we already know this it means to become it could also mean to serve as like the role something has which is what's being used in this sentence which can you read this for me shokudo no shita ga yado ya ni natte iru so this is basically meaning that the the bottom area of the inn is being served as a sorry the bottom area of the cafeteria is being served as an inn. So basically, we got the cafeteria, then we have like a cellar area that is an inn. That's what they're saying. So the not do means to be serving as. It is in the role of a inn. Um, do you know how this word is pronounced? Yes. This word is ue. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? See if you remember what a warm fire door means. Ooh. Ue no. The last part is ro. The first part is dan. Yep. Dan. Yep. Dan ro. Ue no dan ro ni hi ga moeru. Hi. It means... Um, the fire, the fireplace on the upper, there's a fire that is blazing. Hi, I probably should have put D here, D, <laughs> the stationary location. For that, I apologize for putting the knee there. I was like, hmm. this would kind of insinuate it's like burning that up almost, <laughs> kind of. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Not knee, it is D. Uh, I'm going to quickly edit that um knees there because uh I, I i i'm building sentences based off of other sentences and then sometimes like pieces that shouldn't be that that shouldn't yeah money be a professional be a professional <laughs> uh, uh, uh our next word is uh sh shujin which is not a long shoe it is also a short shoe <laughs> so two mistakes in a row um shujin is an owner, the Hi. owner of the place, Shujin. Um, it's also mean husband. <laughs> yeah, it can. You're right. Your husband. Also, not my husband. A little your bit husband. awkward. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you read the sentence for me? Yado ya ni Shujin ga iru, meaning <laughs> this is the owner. No, the owner is here at the uh, at the inn. Yes, the owner is in the inn. You don't have to be in the inn with him for this. Uh, if you take out the location, then it is normally here, like, kokuniru, 
where we said like dare ka iru would mean who is here because the here is like insinuated by context but right here since the location has specified you could be in another universe and you could say this look that here we refer to a different location it just means he's existing over there um hi do you know what the past negative form of iru is past negative so first we turn it into past no 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 first we turn it into negative so it's inai hi then we turn it into past is inakata. Perfect. Inakata. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Oh, wait. It is me. That's so interesting. I wonder why. Uh, hmm. huh. It's at. It's in the locate. It's burning toward there, I guess. Huh. I guess I was wrong. No, but I'm, I'm thinking this knee mean like inside of the fireplace probably because i have a right because imagine a circle hi 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 you have a circumference and then you have the central point so i have a feeling that knee means an event that happened inside of whatever that circle represents now that circle could be any noun possible. and then day is more isn't day is more like that whole area. Oh, well, there is a stationary location. So you're right. If you said Danro De, it might mean the whole thing, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the whole area. It just means you have to complete the action in the location. Um, but it, it's like suppose suppose I'm drinking in a coffee shop, right? Mm -hmm. I can't still use... say ni, um, kisaten ni. Uh, something cafe or nomu, right? You can't say that. It should be de. Kisatan de, um, coffee or nomu. So, it part it probably has to do it with the verb moeru. Like perhaps if I said the uh -huh. room, for example, we would still use de. But yeah, that's that that's interesting. I should do that. Um, I see one person like an example sentence with this is like um ikari ni moiteru to be burning with anger. So I wonder if it kind of is like the way it's burning. So I could argue it's like the location is where. But anyway, let's go read this sentence. Hi. Um, ue ga yado ya ni natte iru. Shokudo ni wa danro ni hi ga. Aka aka to moe shuchin shi kar inai kata. Um, so the sentence said, uh, shika meaning such a thing as the owner, right? So I forgot to make uh, so you a tab for that. So shika it means except for. So except for the owner, except for. no one else existed in Akata. So the only person existing was the owner. Hi. So except for the uh the only person except for the owner, uh there was no one uh, there was no one exist there was no one there. The fireplace burning. Um the on the top of the inn not the iru shuro ni wa um okay the top is functioning It, the top is function. Oh, okay. The dining place. The top of the dining place. Is the top. What that's saying. 